as being the leader of the Council for the Western Region, knowing the momentous occasion that we're embarking upon, what are your thoughts as a president? So, you know, jubilees are a once-in-a-lifetime event. Jubilees in general are a once-in-a-lifetime. A diamond jubilee of an imam is, um, as we know, this is the fourth time in our 1,400-year history that an imam is having a diamond jubilee. And so when you think of it, as a president, my perspective is very different. Our, uh, our key, my key responsibility that I feel as a president is to ensure that how can I make the entire Jamaat excited about the Jubilee and how can I make the entire Jamaat feel involved in the Jubilee, in particular young professionals. Um, as we heard Hazra Mam's message today, uh, you know, uh, the work that we as a Jamaat, especially in the West and the Western United States, we do have a fair share of number of people who are well educated in fields that can make a transformative experience. Jubilees are supposed to be transformational and can make and have a desire to make that transformational experience. And how do we make those connections so that these young people can make a difference in the world and can make it and help the Imam realize his vision? So what are some things or some actions, strategies that the Western Council is taking to approach the young professionals to have the transformational experience? Yes, so, uh, you know, one of the things that we have started undertaking is that within our council, uh, we have one of our members actually been responsible for uh, 18 to 35 year old professionals. Uh, and we've been organizing sessions with the professionals uh, where we talk to them, uh, you know, they're very informal sessions where we talk to them about the vision Molana Hazramam has, the work that Jubilees in the past have accomplished. You know, what did Molana Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's do, Jubilees do for our Jamaat? What has Molana Hazramam's previous Jubilees have done for the Jamaat? For them to understand that what do we mean when we say something is transformational, right? Um, and what role each and every one of us can play and how they, with whatever educational background, whatever professional interests that they may have, they can make a difference in the institutions and how they can do it. We also do realize that, you know, uh, many of our young professionals have pressures from their work and pressures, from, but how can they fit, make service a priority within whatever they undertake? And what has the feedback been from the young professionals who are now hearing the impacts of the Jubilee, the, the key words, you know, transformational experience? So um, I have been uh, floored with the wonderful experience. First, um, you know, even like an event uh, that we had today, there were a lot of young professionals who were engaged in, in this, these events. Secondly, uh, what's very inspiring, what I'm hearing the young say, is um, they want to go out. They want to go to different parts of the world and help the Imam and his Jamaat. They also want to be civically engaged in, in societies in which they live. Uh, they want to be, uh, we, I just met a young, uh, you know, a uh, person who is a high tech professional who went over to uh, UCA for a week and taught computer science. Now that experience, he went there from an experience of, you know, I'm gonna go and teach computer science to some kids. He came back transformed in terms of how that experience changed him. Uh, we do have a lot of young people who want to do a lot of work in their own societies and in their own backyards. So whether it's being doing work with, uh, in LA, for example, you know, we do a lot of work with the, the Homeless Count, uh, Big Sunday, various endeavors. And we do have the young stepping up to take those responsibilities. Uh, you know, just for example, even this past weekend or, you know, when 4th of July, we had parades that are, uh, you know, young participated in very actively both as volunteers and as part of the floats and stuff. Uh, so I do feel that uh, this next generation of young, they are very comfortable. This is their home. They don't know any other home. Many of us like me have grown up in Pakistan or India or East Africa or wherever, and we 
maybe have this dual identity. For them, this is their identity. And they want to make as much of a difference in the society in which they live. And they truly feel as these international Ismailis uh, citizens who want to be able to make a difference in the world at large.